Hi, I'm EMC and I have a problem. I am a master procrastinator. And recently, I've been trying to improve my productivity. And a few months ago, while I was researching, and by researching, I mean procrastinating the hell out of my homework, I came across something called the Pomodoro Technique. According to Wikipedia, the Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that uses a timer to break down work into intervals separated by short breaks. In simpler terms, meaning repeated working then resting controlled by a timer. And I thought, I should make an app out of this. Now I'm going to put a disclaimer here saying I am not the first person to think of this. Neither will I be the last. I just thought this would be a fun project to make and share with the internet. And for those of you who want to know, the programming language I will be using is JavaScript. The timer is an essential part of the Pomodoro technique. So I started by making one. The way my timer works is by getting the current time, then assigning a variable called end time with the current time plus a duration of how long you want your timer to be. And this is what it currently looks like. It's not pretty, but it's still a prototype, so I'll improve later on. Next, I implemented the Pomodoro technique by first adding buttons to start and stop the cycles, then adding cycles of 25 minutes of work, 5 minutes of rest, and 15 minutes of rest every 4 cycles. Now that the timer is basically complete, it was time to make it look good. The look I was going for was the timer in the center with a ring around it showing how much time is left, and most importantly, it was going to be dark mode. So I started by making the buttons bigger and giving it a dark blue background. It didn't really look good so I did what any responsible person would do and procrastinated it by working on the circle. After adding the circle, it wasn't working so I procrastinated that and started working on the timer text. When written sideways, the text leaves a lot of wasted space here and here. So I switched it from being side to side to top and bottom. Then I returned to the color of the timer but as it was obvious that my taste wasn't that good, I got some color palettes from Pullers.com and finally decided on this color palette. And I know what you're thinking. You said you wanted it to be dark mode. And this isn't dark mode. And yes, I was going to fix that, but procrastination. So I went back to working on the circle. It finally worked. And as an additional feature, I just added a text to indicate the current cycle so that the person using it could know what time it is. If you're watching until now, you're an absolute legend and subscribing to this channel would be much appreciated. I'm a high school student and it would really help me out. At the beginning of this video, I stated that I was using JavaScript. JavaScript mainly works on websites. So now I had to figure out a way to turn websites into applications. That's when I came across Electron.js. According to Wikipedia, Electron JS is an open source software framework that allows for the development of desktop GUI applications using web technologies, which basically means it turns websites into applications. With the help of documentations, Electron Forge, and some people from Discord, I was able to make it work. And as a final touch, I added a notification every time it switches between work or rest time. Obviously, this app is not complete. The frame of the app has unnecessary options on them. I get an error every time I open it, and I also have to open it through code. But completing this app wasn't my plan for this video. I wanted to introduce a bigger project I'm working on, which is a productivity app called Produvity. And this timer is just one part of it. Other features I want to implement include calendar to set when and what to work on, a to-do list where you can set all work that needs to be completed, a progress meter to see how productive you have been, and much more. So if you want to see the progress of this app, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified of my next upload. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I made this app, comment down below, I'll make one as fast as possible. And just one last friendly reminder to subscribe. Thank you.